Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Prom. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, and Atoli. Yep. I believe that you should go first. Okay. Because I think the, the country would be worse off if you were president over I me. I 100% agree. Okay. So go ahead and select yourself and then me. Very good. And we are on to the second step. Week one. Ooh. All right. It is lunch. Who will you go speak to? Because your choices are the werewolf boy and Vera. Keep your hands off my Vera. You have... Who is that in the middle? This one? I don't know. She's a Frankenstein? Is she? She looks like a witch. I don't know. She has... Maybe. I don't know. She has the little streak in her hair and like... I thought that was her part. Oh, it might just be a part. Yeah. Um, no, I think... Actually, I think you're right. I think that is a streak. So you have that. You have the cat girl in the upper left who you can buy things from. Yeah, that's the only thing I know about her. I have no um, idea if she's dateable. And then you have your, like, threesome you're working on down there. And you have the other tables. I mean, clearly I have to go for Damien. That's your goal. You arrive at your chosen table to find Damien dejectedly hefting a ball of mashed potatoes while Polly sadly passes her hand through the same. <sighs> like, seriously, what do we have to do to get a food fight started in this cafeteria? I honestly do not know. I tried throwing potatoes at people and yelling, food fight, but I think everyone is too scared of me to fight back. And I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture, sure, but not food. There's got to be a way to provoke a food war. My dads are always telling me to be more political. Aw, that's so sweet. Also, look at his blush. He is blushing. I don't know why. But we're not political. Your strength is hitting things, and my strength is being unbelievably hot all the time. Unbelievable hot. That's it. We'll set the cafeteria on fire. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not a solution. That's just arson. Um, <laughs> hmm. Why do I always jump straight to arson? Probably because you're red. It's hard to watch them struggle through this by themselves, so you step in with an idea of your own. All right, so you can fight. You can say wars are fought over scarce resources. Steal everybody's food and put it in a pile. That ought to do it. That sounds like smarts or creativity. Yep. Then the other, you have, hey, Polly, you know how the Greeks fought a whole war over Helen of Troy's face? Flash the cafeteria. Okay, that that That's sounds bold. bold. That's bold. I do, I can't do that one. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna do this one. I think this is probably creativity or smarts. Yeah, I agree. And I think I'm okay on those. Things. All right. And that's more with him. So. Yep. Oh, and that wasn't even like a stat check. I think it's literally just pick one. Oh, okay, cool. Because there was no like reference yeah, there to your no stats reference there. To my stats. Okay. Whoa, is that what politics is? Being people up and putting their stuff in a big pile. I mean, generally, yeah. Actually, it's kind of, yeah, that is international diplomacy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was already so good at politics. <laughs> and then I can roll around in the food pile. It feels so good on my non-skin. Damien spends the rest of the lunch piling up everybody's food in an enormous food mountain. Hungry students are soon swarming the mountain, trying to grab what they can, while Damien pelts them with fire and knives <laughs> from above. I want an illustration of this. In a panic, the students turn on each other, fighting with only weapon they have, the food in their hands. Ha-ha! Food fight! Food fight! I think a fight like this is how I died. The casualties are beyond counting, but no one will be forgetting that food fight anytime soon. And it is time for me. I Pretty mean, obviously, yeah. yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the narrator for my steps. Okay, fine. Just so you don't tire yourself out. Vera's drinking her customary lunchtime scotch, because you can drink whatever the hell you want at the school. But Scott's not making it easy for her. Hey, Vera, what you drinking? His voice is changing. Scotch, why? Because it smells like a delicious forest fire, and I'm curious, what's it called? Scotch. Yeah? No, that's what it's called. What? Scotch! Yeah? Yeah? No, I'm not saying your name. I'm saying the name of the drink I'm drinking. It's Scotch. I think the point is her accent makes it even harder. I, I know, but I'm not very good at sneaky accents. It's mine? No, it's mine. Then why is it called Scots? That's just what it's called. Oh. It, is it like an energy drink for Scots? I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. Hey, I'm a Scottish person. I'm as Scottish as it's possible to be. I'm the most Scott. 
No. Ugh. What I will what will it take to get you to drop this issue? Scott's not going to drop it unless you do something. So you cut in and say, "Um, let's see. Yeah, it's called Scott's, but today is opposite day, so everything that's Scott's is actually Vera's. That sounds positive for Vera. Mm -hmm. And you're right, Scott. That drink is your birthright. Chug, 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 chug. Um, first one, please. Don't you mean today isn't opposite day, though? No. Aha! I'm, um, not sorry. Not Vera. I guess I'll be, um, taking your drink. Wink. Wait. Time out. If everything that Scott's is Vera's, do I have to give Vera all of my stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. And does Vera have to give me all of her stuff? Sure. Unfortunately for you, I have no stuff. All my possessions are owned by cleverly disguised shell companies. Now hand over your wallet. Okay, okay. Boy, opposite day sure is the best, isn't it? It sure is. After Scott leaves you alone, you and Vera definitely don't spend all of his money on cocaine. Oh man, get into the hard drugs. All right, we're going to trade some places now. Player order is decided based on your ability to mimic the noise a giraffe makes. I'm just going to let No, no, you're not. No, you're not right now. <laughs> Atoli, please make your imitation of a giraffe. I don't know what a giraffe sounds like. There, then I will make my imitation of a giraffe then. <clears throat> is that what they sound like? I have no idea, but I actually made a noise. You made none. Therefore, I get to go first. That is, I was going to let you go first anyways. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you did not have to make a noise. All right, time for some night school. Oh, th that's weird. I've never gone to school. To high school at night. All right. I think we are actually going to work on the fun. All right. Go. I'm, I'm building like a rounded character. I was going to click it for you. Uh, it is my turn. I will control the game. Fine. I don't infringe on your controls. <clears throat> we can also go outdoors. Oh, that's where the cat girl is. I think that's where you can just buy stuff. Well, I have money. Let's also build some fun. Oh, so I can't actually do both. Oh, maybe because it's nighttime? Huh. Okay. Are you the cat girl or uh, am I? Welcome to my little shop. Okay, that's the princess. That is the princess. Hold on. Hold on. Welcome to my little shop. Fine. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So take a look. All right. So we have a blanket with two holes, literally just a white blanket with two holes in it. You have to be an idiot. So that's for a ghost costume. Okay. Um, a corpse. So that also. I am too poor to buy a penguin mask or a bag of regular cocaine. Mm -hmm. I can get a PR agent. Cool. That might be useful, actually. Um, tampon by a former prom queen. We're not going to talk about that. Motivational poster. Sexy fake Latin accent. That sounds like charm. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Interesting. And a fake badass tattoo. That's for helping that boy. I'm going to get a PR person use all my money. Okay. All right. No refunds. Your turn. I have no idea how much that's going to screw me. I have no idea either. Um, I am going to go... I feel like Vera would like me to have a PR rep, though, so I'm, probably, I'm okay with that. Probably. Um, I'm going to go for creativity, I think. All right. Out to the theater. Oh, look at you! I am so displeased to be this dragon. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Oh, okay. Your performance is intense and inspiring. Is it? There's going to be a lot of recording of me saying words like cocaine and blowjob after this. Probably. Yeah. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad for high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Excellent. Now, who's here? Later, you see <gasps> Damien packing a bag. Oh my god, it's almost like it's destiny. Oh, oh my god, he is amazing! I'm going away for the weekend. Are you? To detention. I have fucking detention again. 
Really? They give out detention at the school? Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured selkie piss on whoever opened it? Okay, I mean, that's fair. I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. Anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Do I want to tell him to do it, do it, just fucking ditch, do it? Or cross species economic and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention and find out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. I, I mean, the first one sounds like bold. It does sound like bold. Could be fun. Could be fun. Um, the, the second one sounds like smarts or creativity to me. Okay, I'm going to go with the second one because bold and... I don't think this is fun. I think this. Is, I think you're right. Okay. I think that's bold. All right. Let's find out. Creative. Cool. Uh, I never... Oh, that's you. I never really thought of making connections before. I mean, what's this? Spooky high, high best friend race or something? Yes. But you're right. <laughs> I could always use a scapegoat for some of my more sinister plans. Exactly. When the weekend is over, the tales of Damien's exploits as outsider turned buddy echo through the halls. Rumors fly that the hand shackles were made of uh, handshakes. Handshakes, sorry. Handshakes were made made up, deep secrets were revealed, and a whimsical dance scene took place in the library. By next week, people are still intrigued about why Damien is sort of frozen in the middle of the football field with his fist in the air. <laughs> Damn, did you just start a new school club? You gained plus two fun and plus one creativity. Damn, girl, you I are like... so fun. Dude, you are that hot party chick who was like an artist. Uh -huh. Who's like in high school, like 16. You already got the tats and the piercings. Mm -hmm. Like you're already going out. You're like got the fake ID. You're clubbing. You make the good art. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't have a PR rep. I don't. I don't have Oh, a no, goal. something happened to... You. Me. Hopefully I don't need money. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. You're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you when you spy a much more visible threat. Also, like, what's with the skulls and spooky ghosts on the text box? Was that there before? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's because this is an event or something. Oh. Yo, fuck hammer. I need your advice about something. Do you know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine-pack abs. It's love. And I think I might just be in it with your buddy, Zomboy. Oh, man. And sure, love is already hardcore. Just because the feelings are so strong. And that's badass. But the love will be doubly as strong and badass if it turns out that Zomboy is as hardcore as I think he is. And of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. By looking at it? You know him pretty well. Do you know what his inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh. Of course you do. By which you mean you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. So now is the time to decide Zomboy's fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick. Unless you want to, in which totally go for it. Please don't be a dick. Oh, boy. Atoli, I could ruin your chance to get some of that, like, horny red demon dick. <laughs> I could. But please don't. I please. could go with major cardiovascular diseases. Zomboy is the ultimate murderer. The leading cause of death worldwide and something capable of catching up to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. Or an electric chair. That's how boring Zomboy is. He would just be standard government regulated death. Please don't make me standard government regulated death. But isn't this a contest? No, please isn't don't. Isn't this fuck a contest? Me. No, please don't fuck me over. No, please. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Thank you. You're the best. I will not fuck you over. Damn. I wouldn't have even thought of that. If major cardiovascular diseases were a knife. They would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. They were a sword. They would be like two katanas connected by a chain. So they'd be like sword, like nunchuck katanas. Yes. Sword chucks. 
sword chucks indeed. If they were a gun, they would be an atomic bomb. Fair. Wow. A cardiovascular disease was raging in Zomboy this entire time, and I never even knew it. He's super jazzed about it. Well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, since you are the one who started this metaphor, you know that Zomboy isn't likely to die. Unless they're dying to go to prom with Damien. In which case, BAM! You're welcome, Zomboy. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> I gain oh, plus gold. three boldness. Nice. Cool, that almost makes up for the, uh... Alright, that, that, that actually kind of makes up for the not getting anything when I went to the cat. Yes. You know? Yeah, yeah, so. that actually works out. Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Let me think for a quick moment. What do, what do they mean I am by ready. bad? Something bad. Something, something you consider bad. Tell me when you are ready. We will say it out loud together before we click. Uh, okay, um, okay, I got it. All right, are you ready? Yes, To I'm ready. say the thing. I'm ready. On, uh, we're going to say one, two, three, go. Okay. And and go on go. Yes. One, one two, two, three, three. runny cat shit. I was going to say cat piss. All right, we're going to find out. <laughs> one of our cats peed in the other room. Um, <laughs> and we could hear them. Player orders decide how likely it would be for humankind to perish due to the selected thing. I actually think cat piss would kill us before the runny poop would. I think so, too. All right, you're first. Oh, I clicked you first. Cool, okay. I get to go first now. That's your fault. I clicked the girl. That's your fault. It I is. am the girl. I know. All right, we are going to try going for fun again. All right, you do that. That day during recess, I start the half-hour rave that is... Full crazy. That is full crazy, yo. I spot Juan, the small magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. Oh, no. He explains to you that he's worried that people are so used to calling him Juan, the small magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him only by his size, magical acumen, ethnicity, and species. He's far more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in this school, so adding all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him that you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both live together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories, and you gain plus two fun. Good job. Now you're four fun. Later, you're wandering through the halls when you hear a voice from around a corner. Hey, psst. I seem to have uh, accidentally turned a bitch into stone with my gaze. Don't get me wrong, she totally deserved it. Her nose is obviously fake, plus that nail polish abominable. I agree. But this isn't exactly the first time I've done this, and Principal Giant Spider said if I didn't, if I did it again, I'd get to detention. I want to see the giant spider. So now I need to dispose of yet another body. And I thought that since you're so attractive and kind and clever, You'd be willing to cover up the literal murder I've committed. No questions asked, right? Um, let's see. Easy will just dress her up with some stuff from the theater and set her up in the quads like she's a new art piece. That is obviously creativity. Mm -hmm. um, never you fear my lovely murderess. My good buddy Mr. Hammer will make short work of the evidence. I'll even give you the nose as a trophy. That's bold, I think. I think that's bold. Let's go with that. So bold. You don't even wait for Vera's okay before smashing the statue. To be honest, you really just love smashing statues. That is actually fair. I do. I do yeah. actually love smashing statues. Well, just don't go to a museum. Uh-huh. Brutal. Thorough. Cost-effective. I'm impressed. Maybe next time we can skip the turning a bitch to stone part and go straight to you dismembering them with a hammer. Of course. You don't mind, right? You better not. I've got something on you now. Vera wiggles her rival's dismembered fake nose at you menacingly. This is great news. Blackmail is how Vera shows affection. You gain another plus two fun and plus one charm. Hey, that worked out. That did. I need to get my creativity up. Where are you going? Ooh, um, I need to be bold, so I'm going to the bathroom. All right, you're skipping class for the day. Yep. Am I working on my cost? Oh, it no, I'm fixing my jacket. does look that way. Okay. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. 
I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in bathrooms. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice Damien placing, playing with a big knife, like he's trying to figure out where to stab himself with it. Hey, why'd you stop me? I'm about to give myself a sweet body mod. You know they say body modifications are forever, but the shock value sure isn't. I broke my horn off and my dads are only pissed off for what, like three weeks? Maybe I'm just not going hard enough. I need something that will really freak everybody out. Like a tattoo on my face, of my face, on my face! I don't think that would work, Damien. No, you're right. That's too subtle. Hey, you look like a deviant. You got any good ideas for a sick body mod? Um... Gun hands? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to have gun hands. Though. Okay. Uh, you're thinking too big. It's the tiny details that really freak people out. How about a tattoo on your face on the tip of your tongue? I mean, that is actually kind of freaky. That would be. And that sounds like creativity. That does sound like creativity. Gun hands, I feel like it's just boldness, right? I think so. I think you'd be okay for either, but... I'm gonna do this. Okay. But I feel like he might like this more. I think he'll like either as long as you pass. Like, Creative. Okay, good. No, not a tattoo of my face. An actual tiny face! Yeah, that's what I meant. No, I'll have my tongue split, and then I'll do two tiny faces instead. Okay. And I can have my necromancer cousin animate them so they scream all high-pitched and shit. And on their tongues, four more tiny faces. Oh my god, it's just becoming a fractal. Oh, man. I'm going to be straight up unemployable. Did you mean fractal? Yeah. I thought you, I thought you said a fractal. No, fractal. Okay, there. Fractal. Okay, I thought you meant like a fraternity. And no, I was no, like, no, 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 no. I meant like he's Man. going to, you know, that thing in, in Doctor Strange. Yeah, I'm never going to be straight up unemployable. That night, you have nightmares about Damien's tongue face. Sex nightmares. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. That is not what I went here for, but okay. I am I'm 12 fun, though. I am you super fun. You are super fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and click the little bell. Until next time, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this has been Atoli. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.